Hey guys, it's Inferno Glade, and I'm actually going to do a replay through of Little Big Planet. This is one of my favorite <laughs> series of all time. Like, I think the, the only series I can think of I like more are Sonic and Pokemon. Maybe I'll LP a Sonic game one day. I definitely don't think I'm going to LP a Pokemon game since those take quite a long time. But whenever I get the chance, I might LP one of those. But last playthrough, I just started up at the intro stage. This time, I'm going to show you the intro. Just turn up the volume a bit. So that is the intro to Little Big Black 1. I remember I showed off 2's intro, but not 3's. So, before we do anything, we're going to turn on the subtitles. I'm going to make the screen camera a bit bigger and... Let's get this playthrough started. A game by Mida Molku. What? Zio, Pen, Chris, Mikel, Lucy, Pete, Leo, Mark, and Dave. As well as Danny, Kengo, Victor, Craig, and Mark. Sean, Kerim, and Thomas. Francis, and Memo. Jim, and Rex. Kenny and Matt, Chris, Amy, Skirt, James, Aaron, and Alan, Alex, Anton, Luke, and Paul, Nathan, Moo, Johnny, Paul, Suzanne, Mags, Debbie, and Martin. Use the left stick to go through the 
various icons on the pop-it main menu. Press action to choose. For now, choose customize character. This takes you to your customized character pages. Where you can have a rummage about to find a new style of sack material. Use the left stick to select something that says, hey, I'm a sack person. Get used to it. This is also your little big boutique, where you can peruse myriad fashions. Some magic, some tragic. If you're in one of those moods where you simply can't decide what clothes go with your ears at the moment, just select this icon, which randomly chooses some gad rags for you. Get out of pop it. Just press the back button to go back a level. And press it again to close it completely. Oh, you're gonna be the talk of little big planet in that getup. Either that or laughing stock. So yes, you can customize your character. I'm actually I actually have some DLC installed, so I bought like stuff like Eggman's nose and spectacles, snakes, hair and bandana. But I'm actually going to be in a different makeup. I am going to be Gaia. Okay, that is Quadratus's who's. I think this is, yeah, this is Colossus Free Feet. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna be a Gaius for the whole game. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know, I, there's probably a costume I want to try make. to shake things up a bit. If you tilt the wireless controller you're holding, you can animate yourself. Press the left stick to alternate between moving your head and your pelvis. You can change your sack person's expression too, using the directional button. Give us a little smile. Press the up. See, you're happy. Press the down button and you'll become down. Look at that. A face like a smacked bottom. Press the left button and go all worried. <gasps> what was that? Press the right button and you get all cross and tough. By holding down the limb button, you can use the sticks to control your arms. Stop being mean and moody now. We're all very impressed. And welcome to Little Big Planet. Your home is a cross between your bedroom and your first shed. It's the place you'll chill out in between adventures and excursions. Mark on this world. 
just simply enjoy the people and puzzle they set. Little Big Planet is the manifested embodiment of your perfect dream world. So let's fly your imagination with just a touch of the action button. God, I love this game. Like... The narrator is basically voiced by Stephen Fry, for those of you who don't know. Well, you're not backward at coming forward. You've gone to meet one of the creator curators. They tend and maintain Little Big Planet when you're awake. This one is the king of the gardens. Press the action button to see what he's got for us today. This is the Little Big Planet seal. No, don't give it a fish, it's not that kind. <laughs> it's a badge, a map reference, if you like, to indicate somewhere wonderful a creator curator has made for you. Select with your action button and explore. So I'm going to be doing all of the gardens in this video. So you're going, so I'm going to do all the world in just like in one video. So that basically means that this is going to be eight parts long, is it? No, because I'm also going to cover the DLC stages. Joyous greetings, and welcome to my gardens. I created them with a little help of my wife, the Queen. Now, a big adventure awaits you. Good luck. So, the original, unlike 2 or 3, doesn't have voice acting. Hi, I'm Dumpty. Show me your running and jumping skills. Remember, hold down the action button for a longer jump. Now you can be a total, total moron to Dumpty and just basically split him in half. You can be a total a-hole to Dumpty. Now this activates a, another thing. I'm actually going to come back for this and show you. So yeah, collect these score bubbles for points. Five or more in quick succession earns you a score multiplier. Now let's be a real ass to Dumpty. Jumping into the screen is automatic. Try jumping up these hills and you'll get the idea. I didn't read what that said. Mind you don't fall into the treacherous water. So yes, yeah, some are actually hazards. Prize bubbles contain useful items. These ones are full of costumes that you can customize your sack person with. So yeah. You can actually get some useful items. Now, this bridge is, uh, I feel it's like it's going to collapse. Oh god, I knew.
can't believe I timed that perfectly. I popped and the video ended at the same time. <clears throat> I can't believe I timed that greatly. Please to meet you, I am the queen. Please decorate this card catcher with stickers for me. Jump on the red button to learn how. Well, I think I'll teach them how. <coughs> so basically, sometimes you'll come across stuff like these where you need to place stickers on. But in fact, if we go over here for a bit. Halt! Only Henry may pass, but he needs his shirt and shoes. And in order to fill in this one, you need to flip it. So if you let Henry come all the way over here. And there was much rejoicing. enough to have a PlayStation I, you could have lots of fun with these items. Now I myself have a PlayStation I. Well done! To finish the level, all stack persons need to stand in front of the scoreboard. Let's see how well you did. Now I'm actually gonna replay the level, and I'll see you when I sh when I meet you. Why? Cause if you remember, we ran into this, and we needed the rainbow shoe in order to activate this. What does this unlock? Why unlock this? This is a race gate. Basically, you have to race. East the clock and get to the finish line so we have two minutes to finish this but the more score bubbles you like collect it will actually freeze the timer so collecting lots of score bubbles is a good way hey, to like try get best score I'd collect all these again, but I'd run the risk of, like, getting a lower score. Now, this bird actually, actually lowers so you can cross the bridge without having to die. And so, yeah, I'll meet you at the end of the level. Alright, we're here again. So, if you get through a stage without dying, you get ace prizes. I think that's actually a new high score. Yeah, it is. I'm generally surprised so we're gonna continue now you're very impressive you must have visited little big planet in your dreams many times before have you well you can either retread your steps and improve your score or visit this new place you've discovered use the left stick to choose whichever option So now we're on to the second level of World 1, Get a Grip. I think the garden's 
take place in, like, the UK. Because, like, all oh, oh, two to ten, you know that? Time to get a grip. You can grab some materials with the R1 button. Try scaling these walls and you'll get the idea. So, this level will teach you how you're supposed to grab onto things with the R1 button. And, and additionally, you can come up here. And you can get some prizes. And, oh crap, I fell. Any, any who? That sticker is something you get in the next stage. And so, like, when I get that sticker, I'm actually going to come back. can get those. Well, actually, no, like, because the first, I did it for the first one because it unlocked a secret race that I wanted to show you. But here, I figured just get you some new stickers. Because unless you care about, like, collecting every single prize bubble, well, I wouldn't go for that. We get a teapot, which we can stick on here, but we also need the star to trigger it. Oh no! No! Uh, failed. Could have had an epic horse ride. If you want more oomph when dragon, press the action bar repeatedly. So yeah. All right. Can I just say, I never knew where that sticker was, and I was, and I like replayed this level like multiple times, just trying to find that one sticker I could find, and it was behind a bush. How was I supposed to find that there? Now I'm gonna go on a horse ride, but hopefully this one goes better than the last one. Okay, it almost squashed me, so that's something. Do you have anything behind you? No, you don't. To hang from an object, jump and then hold down the grab button. You can swing using the left stick. Try getting over that wall using these sponges. So, yeah. Now, you can actually go up here. And get some stuff. I believe we need that cloud later. There's so many stickers that require that freaking yellow star. We don't get that until the next stage, by the way. Keys will unlock survival challenges and score challenges, so be sure to keep a lookout. Some are really hard to find. So yes, this kid here te will teach us the mechanic of keys. And that one gives us the survival challenge. You're doing great. Place a tail decoration of my wooden steed and you may proceed. Drop on a red button if you need to learn how. I will teach him how. So we get the sticker and edit tool. So all we need to do is place a tail on him. My tail looks great. Hop on board, hold tight, and let's race. Ready for a race? Get to the fish post as quickly as possible for bonus points. Alright. 
Alright, so I think that does it for get a grip. Just need to collect this mushroom. Let me get the mushroom. Thank you. Great, you're really good to grips with the basics. All players started for the scoreboard. Let's see how well you did. Uh, I did slightly worse than Crobat the 7th, if that was to believe. I'm not going to ace every stage, this, because part 8 would be like 2 hours long if I did, maybe 3 hours long. Now, I am going to do that survival challenge before I move on. So, we're gonna do survival challenge, tie skipping. Okay, hold on. I will show you what tie skipping is. Welcome, welcome to tie skipping. Keep jumping over the king's tie and don't get knocked off. Survive and collect score bolts for as long as you can before you die. Jump down the hole to begin. I really love this tie skipping mini game. It's really basic and fun. The tie will keep getting faster and faster. I want to see if I can. Beat Frozen Colossus, who has 503. This is getting this music is getting real intense, and the ties getting faster and faster and faster. And oh god. You're going to be pressing X a lot of times. Come on. I want to make it to at least 600. 600 before I die. I did it. No, I fell. Uh, five hundred and eighty-nine. I simply must take it. How satisfyingly useful the start menu is. There's so many fabulous things it allows you to do, such as replay of videos you've unlocked. Or tinker and fine tune settings and the like. Have a fiddle, it's perplexingly simple to use. Just click the start button and you're away. So, Skate of Victory. This is our final level in the garden stage. We're introducing races. If you come over here, you can get some prize bubbles 
if you have the yellow star. The easy stuff is now over. Beyond these tranquil hills lies a scary castle. Grab that bird over there to get going. And here we go. And we're in Windmill Hills now. No, not that level from Tropical Freeze. But we're in our own Windmill Hills with a awesome music track. I, but I'm, but I like forgot what it was. Yeah. So yes, you can get your own stuff here. And some of these stickers are actually really grand and exquisite. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did like earlier. I'm I really like this music. Hanging on the side here to get some chip stickers. Ba 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 There we go. Got a fish sticker. And hey, you left without me! Where's where am I? You can use the camera tool to create your own stickers. Jump on that red button to find out how. Collect this jetpack to hover around in the air. For more oomph, hold X. You can still grab stuff if I want. To stop using the jetpack, just press O. I want to go on those treetops before we enter this supposed haunted castle. So what you're supposed to do here... I should... well, I think I should explain like the reasoning why I'm LP in this. Because I think it's fun to like LP a game that I did a poor job LP in previously. Because previously, I played this game with one hand. And while it was impressive, I beat it with one hand. I still think I could like improve my skills. Oh shoot! We can. We're in a castle now. Wait, I think that pun has already been made in another playthrough that some other guys did. Okay, so you're supposed to like be very wary of these ghosts. It's going behind these ghosts will kill you instantly since they have. A nasty piece of material called horrible gas. No, it's not because these ghosts have farted. No, that's not the case. Do ghosts even fart? So, you're not allowed to to touch the ghosts, because well, they'll kill you. So. Yeah. I don't think I died so far, which is nice because I want to try the. I want to try and, like, complete the gardens without dying. I did it for first steps, I did it for get grip, so I plan doing it for skates to victory. And we got a score challenge. I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Yeah. I bet you're wondering. What happens if you ace every stage? What? This is a special cooperative challenge area. The little sack person times two sign just that means you need a friend to help you to unlock the prizes above. So yes, we can get those spectacles without another player. Sad as that is. That's just evil. They need two players to get spectacles. K 
check the boat. We will hear this music in a future world. But now it's time for another race. Incredible, you made it through. Drag this skateboard and jump on so we can get out of here. I really love this skateboarding section. And oh! Now I'm gonna tread back a bit. And oh, poor Humpty. Well, at least his cracked bottom allows us to get this score challenge. And knocked over a tree. That wasn't cool, Humpty. Additionally, you could actually tread all the way back here. Yeah, this walk will take a bit of effort, but when you get to the end, you're greeted by this sticker and a round of applause. They're applauding you for being crazy enough to go this far. Like, this is one of my favorite games back when this first came out. I think it was either 2008 or 2007. One of those, but it doesn't matter what, this game is like over 10 years old now. Which is crazy to think that a game like this would be over 10 years old now. These prize bubbles contain objects and materials. You can use these to make your own levels and creations. So learn how, visit my moon the next time you're in your pod. So... I know you actually can skip out on this background, but let's get it. And we got a new sticker. The star sticker. I'm the first of the creator curators you'll meet. Seven or more on your quest. Set a course for the savannah to meet the next creator, Zola. So I'm going to do both of the score challenges before I... Like, get the before I wrap this video up. Now we unlock. A new world. You are a true explorer of the ethereal dreamscape, and you have unlocked the work of another creator curator. You're a natural born dreamer, so here's another couple of planets for you to weave your exploratory magic around. Be sure to boldly go to them both. I'll meet you there with some more tourist information for you. Where to eat, that sort of thing. Alright, but we are going to go into the two survival score attack. Survival score attack? No, we don't want another Kamui fight, do we? So, this one. Welcome to the Castle Climb Challenge. Beat the timer and get to the finish post as fast as you can for that high score. Don't forget, collected score bubbles will pause the timer and win you points. Let's go. So, yeah, this this is a bit of an easy challenge, but I mean, it's going to be, right? I mean, it's the first survival first survival, no. First score attack you're gonna be doing. They better not make a survival score attack. I would not like another Kamui fight. It's at the end of that. Good thing, but good thing I beat her famously so. 
Yeah, don't fall to those spikes, because if Mega Man taught me anything, it's that spikes equals death. Especially when you get to this part with the clouds, where they're all bumpy. I thought clouds were supposed to be solid. So we didn't die in that stage, thank god. But I think we accumulated the high score for this stage. Yes, we have! For one who's wondering why I named this profile Akani and Yawaka, it's because she's my favorite video game character. The end. So, this one is the skateboard freefall. Fancy a race? Grab the skateboard and pull it to get moving, then jump on it quick. Grab went in the board to hold on and pump the expo to speed up. Beat the timer and get to the fish bus as fast as you can for that high score. So here is how fast can you go on the skateboard. No! Come on, come on, come on. This is a real A skateboard stage. Oh no, I think I I think I broke the skateboard. That's bad. I broke the skateboard. Uh, don't tell don't tell him anything. I don't want him to know that I broke the skateboard. But that one is actually really easy to not die on. I'll be because you're on a skateboard most of the time. So, that pretty much does it for all of the gardens. N next time on Little Big Planet, we're gonna go to the savannah where we meet King Zola. Until then, see you guys then.